I'm having a lot of fun with the Trailer Valet RVR9. I'm finding that moving the smart wood shop around a over 7,000 pound trailer fully loaded moves around in this space so easily. It's wireless so that I can move around the trailer while I am moving it. I can go to the backside and make sure that I'm not hit anything. It's easy to uh, move it slightly because there's 360 degree rotation. Something I haven't had with any other towing uh, option that I've had with any of my trailers over the years. I'm Ron Polk, and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a set of plans to build a smart wood shop for yourself or one of my workbenches, there's a link in the description of this video down below where you can go purchase plans 24-7, 365, and download them instantaneously. I discovered Trailer Valet many years ago when I was hunting around looking for a tug to move the smart wood shop around. My subscribers know because I've made multiple videos over the various trailer valet tugs that I've had. I've had three different models and they all operate very differently and I've sort of progressed up the line. When I was shopping for it, I did have a previous tug, not for the smart wood shop, not for my trailers, but I had a Cessna 182 and I would, and I had a hanger and so put backing it into the hanger I could push it manually, no problem, but I got a tug that was a, a gas-powered one with a Honda motor on it and a chain and drive, and, and I could hook it up to the uh, front gear of the plane and I could move it in, and it worked okay. I found it to be more of a hassle, so I had a little experience with tugs and I knew what I didn't want. I knew that it couldn't be really large. Again, being in aviation, I've worked around and I've actually operated tugs that were the big sit down kind. Back in my uh, Coast Guard days, I was in aviation. So again, shopping for one, I, I kind of knew that my particular need was going to be operating or moving, positioning the Smartwood Shop, my tool trailer, in tight situations, one. So anything big, even a big walk behind, I knew would be difficult uh, to get it in the tight spaces that I need. Also, I need to bring it with me because moving it around in my shop is one thing, but moving it around on the job is another. I want to be able to bring the tug with me to the job, so it had to be small for that reason as well. And then the third thing I needed to do was be able to move the trailer close to the tongue, close to walls, and in really tight situations that it's absolutely impossible to do with a truck. I have moved trailers with trucks for many decades, and I'm not bad at it. I can get them in some really tight spots, but it doesn't matter how good I am at operating a pickup truck, there's no way that I could drive my truck in here and drive this tongue right up to and actually almost touch the wall, which is what I need to do in this situation. And in fact, in many of my shop situations that I've had over the years, I want to have the back uh, with the ramp door open into the area that I'm working. If I backed it in, then in this situation, it just would be untenable. It, the ramp would be back here and then I'd be working out there and I'd have to come around every time. Very inefficient. So getting a tug, whatever brand, those were my parameters. Back when I decided on the Trailer Valet XL Pro, Trailer Valet loaned me, sent me for a week, a, an RVR9 just like this one to test out and I made a video, really enjoyed using it. And I knew hands down that that was the right one for me at the time. But the cost difference is the reason I decided to go with this one, as well as the drill having dual purpose, making it even uh, a better investment for me at the time. It makes sense that the RVR is more expensive because it, it has these high quality planetary drive motors, 
Um, it has its own battery. So all of that stuff is dedicated to the tug. It just costs a lot more to build. It also has the full 360 rotation, which was the thing that that and the fact that it has a wireless control and so I can walk around the trailer easier to maneuver really was pushing me in that direction. But as you know, uh, this was my tool of the year and I went with this one. The smart thing that Trailer Valet did, in my opinion, is they recognized that people will have different needs. Uh, a boat, an RV trailer, uh, a tool trailer like this, a cargo trailer, a lot of different types of trailers that you, if you can just get them into tighter situations, maybe inside of a small shed or a small garage, we can keep it inside out of the weather, or you need to get it really uh, tight next to a building. And you, it just gets to be more difficult to do with the truck. But they recognize that somebody that's gonna move their RV trailer just a couple times a year might not be interested in investing in a, a very professional tool like this, or even like this one, so the smallest one they make, which is I think around $500, don't quote me, you have to look that up. And then they have a progression up to uh, this model. And even in the RVR line, they have an RVR 3, 5, 9, and 12, and they progressively uh, will handle more weight. The 3 uh, down at 3,500 pounds and then progressing on up to the 12, which will do 12,000 pounds. Each of the four RVRs have different uh, specifications, so you'll need to check on the other ones to see which one fits your needs the best. For me, the RVR9 is great because it's rated at 9,000 pounds and it's got a 550 uh, pound tongue weight rating. It will easily move my trailer, which is somewhere more than 7,000 pounds, less than 8,000 pounds. And this is not struggle at all. I'm on a flat, smooth surface. That's all I'm ever gonna need, possibly a driveway, uh, a paved driveway. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm doing the gross, the big moving, if I'm taking it up a hill, up a long driveway, I'm gonna get it there with my pickup. It's once I get it into the tighter situations that I would use this. They will, uh, it will, the RVR will uh, take it up and down an incline. I don't know how much. Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to you to figure out. I don't really think that that is the main purpose of these, moving around in a parking lot or in a garage, uh, on a driveway, that's what these are for. If you've got a long hill or a steep hill, odds are you're gonna be hooked up to a truck. Unless you have a massive tug, you know, the size of a truck, I'm not so sure that I'm gonna take something that weighs 75 pounds and have a 7,000 plus pounds weight that it's moving on a steep incline. At some point, physics is gonna take over and it's not gonna be able to stop it. Operating the RVR is pretty simple. There's a couple of things you should know though. The direction of it is specific. The, the, the ball is offset and you wanna have the longer part of the track, but you know, toward the trailer. So if, if I put, if I hit the uh, forward arrow, it's going to drive this way. And again, there's less difference between the front and where it, it hooks up. This is to do with the, the weight of the trailer coming down on it and, and allowing the, putting enough weight on it to make sure that the um, caterpillar treads can grip. If you are going uh, up or down, there's a couple of things you wanna do different. So if you are um, coming down a hill, you want to have the RVR leading the trailer. You don't want it behind it with the weight of the trailer behind it. it it's more potential to drag it. The other thing you want to do when you're going down an incline is you actually want to run it in reverse. So that would be in for the downhill. Now when you're going up, you want, again, the same position, you're going to want the trailer up going up the hill and you want this pushing it up. 
Now I'm not testing it, I have not tested it, I don't have an inclined to test it on, but when I was reading the manual, it did not mention having the uh, RVR rotated 180 degrees when you're pushing it up the hill. I, I'm not sure about that, so again, I'm passing on what I learned from the manual, I don't have an incline to test it on. When you're operating the RVR, after three minutes of inactivity, it will shut down to save the battery. And I like that. I like tools that kind of help you out so you don't have to remember to run back and, and shut it off. So all you have to do is, there's a, a button right on the front, you just push it once, you'll see the green light come on, and it'll stay on for three minutes or the entire time that you're actually operating it. The remote, it seems to shut off even quicker. I haven't really timed it, but something like less than a minute and the uh, green light will go off. And all you have to do is push the one button, the top arrow, push it once the green light will come on and then it will operate. And then to steer it, you have to be going in one direction or the other, holding that button down, either forward or reverse, and then it will stop moving forward and reverse when you push the right or the left arrow to have the tracks rotate. So if I'm moving and then I rotate, you can see that it stops moving forward and reverse and begins the rotation. Really handy for adjusting in tight spaces. To hook the RVR up to the trailer is really simple. Now this may vary from trailer to trailer, but with my particular one, the, the tongue jack actually comes down on top of where the RVR is. So I have to rotate it out of the way. So what I do is I just rotate it 90 degrees. And now I've got good ground clearance to uh, run the jack down so I can lift it off of this. I also have Trailer Valet's tongue jack, which has a handle that I can do it manually like normal, but they have this uh, little socket adapter which runs it a little quicker. Now this little robot is a beast. It weighs, like I said, about 75 pounds, but I can pick it up and put it in the back of my pickup truck. The post that the ball is attached to has a small ball on the other end, so it, it pivots there rather than being a rigid post. To hook it up, I will move it right underneath, lower it down, and then the other thing you have to do when you are attaching it is there is this collar that you want to go right up to the bottom of your hitch. And if you don't, it's you know, potentially uh, it could come off. And this has an angle on it, and that angle goes toward the trailer. It's pretty easy to do. And then this collar rotates, and they have a spanner wrench they provide. I found that once it's attached and I'm all set up, that to tighten this uh, collar right where I want it, that I actually will run the foot down and kind of lift a little bit. I'll take some of the weight off of this. And then I can see I can move it almost by hand at that point and get it nice and snug. The battery in the RVR is rated at about 30 minutes of use, which is way more than I'm ever going to need. It's only going to be a couple of minutes of moving it around, and then I'll be done with it. When it is time to charge the battery, they provide a charger which plugs in right here. It's a little plug that's covered. And when you plug it in, you get a red light, a uh, continuous red light. When it's charged, it turns green. And the batteries in the wireless remote are double A's. This is rated at about 40 feet. Now you know all the details of Trader Valley's RVR9. Let's see how it works. You can see how the RVR even has enough power to rotate the trailer with its tandem axles. Right now I'm backed right up to the garage door. If I wanted to haul the trailer off to the job, I just open the garage door, back it all the way out, turn it sideways, and then pull my truck right front, hook it up, and go. Something else that occurred to me was if I had a small space, a, 
a smaller garage and I wanted to keep the trailer safe inside at night, but in the, in the daytime when I wanted to work, I could just have the uh, trailer pulled right up to the door with the RVR on it, come in, open the door, just drive it straight out so that the back of the trailer is just inside the garage door, put the ramp down and set up shop, do my thing at the end of the day, pack it all up and just back it right back in. That'd be a great way to really amplify a much smaller space. If you'd like to get a trailer valet RVR for yourself or any of their tugs, in fact, any of their tools, there is a 10% discount code in the description of this video down below. And the good news is that discount is good for the entire year of 2021. If you like these tool review videos, if you've learned anything, if you'd like to see me make more, then be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. But most important, I'd love it if you could share my channel with somebody you know. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.